Hi, it's Morgan Meredith with Living a Blissful Life on Healthy Place, and today I am talking about the benefits of creativity. I have spoken before about structure in your life and how that can be helpful, especially when it comes to having a structured sleep time and sleep schedule. However, a lot of us have a lot of structure in our lives. We get up at a certain time, we work out at a certain time, we go to our job at a certain time, we hang out with family or take care of friends and family at a certain time, and that's it, and then we start over. And it can feel really constraining sometimes. So a great way to build in sort of a relief from that, obviously besides a vacation, is to add creativity into your daily life. Um, and even if it's a structured time to be creative, it's a totally open-ended, time for you. So some people think of creativity as this intimidating thing that's like, oh, I have to be like a professional artist. I have to go to a figure drawing group and, you know, really know what I'm doing and, and learn how to do it before I can start kind of thing, which puts you in a pretty awkward position because how do you learn if you don't already know it? And then, you know, there's a lot of anxiety built up in that. So I would encourage you to take a, a look at some other things that may be creative for you, whether it's, you know, taking a recipe that you know and adding a new ingredient or taking a recipe you've never tried before online and seeing if you can make yours look like the one that's on there playfully not in this weird pressure you're like oh mine didn't turn out the way that one looks so I'm not a professional cook um, again this is just for you it's it's not necessarily to impress anyone else it can be something physical which can be a nice break for those of us who spend a lot of time in front of a computer something physical like making a costume or um, trying a new makeup style if you wear makeup or if you don't wear makeup too. It can be something, again, like cooking. It can be a dance class or even dance tutorials on YouTube. And then it can also be something on the computer if that's more appealing to you. So helping someone edit something they're writing, maybe writing something yourself and submitting it to a website you like. Maybe helping someone come up with a business name or business description, that back and forth of um, brainstorming can feel really rewarding, especially when that, that perfect combination of words comes out. And of course you can do the, um, the more traditional out, art route, whether taking classes in person or online and, and really you know, perfecting a craft that way. Um, and then, you know, some other, another thing that might be really fun for you is just getting some friends together and doing an adult coloring book night. People love to just have a snack, get together and work on those kinds of things because it's really a joy for, for anyone to have that sort of creative outlet. So try something new, try something creative. Even if you are a serious artist, you can try something you haven't before and let me know how it goes. Again, it's Morgan with Living a Blissful Life on Healthy Place.